all right guys welcome back in the last video we learned how to animate the ball but the problem was it was going out of the screen what we wanted to do is bounce off the screen so we are going to be doing that in this video but before we do that you need to understand a little bit about the coordinate system and how to find out the height and the width of our game window so here you can see an example of our screen and on the top left corner we have the x and y coordinate system so x axis increases from left to right so this left to right is the x axis and from top to bottom is the y axis and you need to know that the y axis increases from top to bottom so at the top the y axis is zero and as it goes down it keeps on increasing and similarly at the top left hand side corner left is important for the x-axis because it's on the most left i have not written it on the most left but it's supposed to be like just like at the corner and stuff like uh, over here just the corner most point and this x is zero because it's at the left hand side and there's nothing before that so anyways as we increase its value or its position from left to right then the x value increases so you need to know about that first of all and secondly as we go from left to right if we want to find out the width of this window of the game window that we are working with the width can be found as self dot width and similarly if we go from top to bottom the height of our window can be found as self dot height so at the top left corner the latitude not the latitude the x-axis and the y-axis are going to be 0 comma 0 and and the top right corner because we are the right hand side that is why the self dot width is there and this is the width of the whole window so the x coordinate is self dot width and the y value will still be zero because we are still at the top but if we go towards the bottom left hand side you can see the x is still zero because at, we are at the leftmost corner but the height is self dot height that is the whole height of our game window and similarly at the bottom right corner you can see both the x and the y have reached their maximum values so the width is self dot width and the height is self dot height now how do we what is the bouncing mechanics how do we bounce off the ball so just assume that that the ball currently has a coordinate system and the position of the x coordinate is 25 and the y coordinate is 75 so if the ball was at the leftmost corner the x value will be zero and if it was at the bottom the y value will be at zero what if it moves out of the screen so for example if the ball goes out of the screen on the left hand side and you can't even see it then this x value will actually be less than zero and similarly if this ball moves on the right hand side and goes out of the screen the x value will be greater than self dot width and similarly if this ball is at the top then its y is going to be zero but if it goes out of the screen the y is going to be less than zero and similarly if we go at the bottom the ball so for example if this ball is at the bottom then its y is going to be self dot height but if it goes below the screen then its y is going to increase more than self dot height so we are going to be using these boundaries to make sure that the ball can bounce off so what we can do is for example if the value of the position of the ball the x coordinate of the ball is greater than self dot width and is going on the right hand side out of the screen then we can just multiply the velocity and the current position of the ball by minus one so now we'll be using everything you have learned in this video to create the bouncing effect inside our code and we'll be doing that inside this update function and why we why we'll be doing it inside this update function is because it's being used to move the ball and it's being called a lot actually it's being called 60 times in one second and we have to continuously check whether the ball is going outside the boundaries in the x-axis and the y-axis so this update method is perfect for that so what we are going to do is we are going to uh, let me just add a comment first so that you guys remember what we are doing so bounce off top and bottom so we are dealing with the y-axis because it's top and bottom and at the top you have to remember at the top if it goes beyond the top then the y value gets less than zero and it if it goes beyond the bottom then the y value becomes greater than y dot height or the windows height so we are going to create an if condition over here and we are going to write self dot uh, ball so we are going to get the y position of the ball or the y coordinate of the ball and we are going to check if it's less than zero or we are going to write another condition if self dot ball dot y is greater than the height of our window and we get the height of our window by just writing self dot height and inside this we are going to say like if these conditions are true then take the velocity of the ball and uh, how do you get the velocity of the ball we have already discussed that you just write self dot ball dot velocity 
pretty easy and we want the y velocity over here because we want to change the direction of the ball in the y axis that is why we need the velocity y so we are going to put an underscore over here and we are going to say multiply it by minus one so this looks pretty good so basically this is a shorthand form of multiplying a velocity by itself and this makes it change direction in the y axis and similarly we are going to be doing the same thing for the x axis so we are just going to copy and paste and then we are just going to indentate the comments properly and instead of top we are going to write left and instead of bottom we are going to write um, right so now we are checking the left hand side and the right hand side boundaries on the left hand side if the x value gets less than zero so over here it's going to be less than zero or the y or the x gets more than the width of our window let's write width and then what we are going to do is we are going to take the x velocity and change its direction so this is pretty much it it was a very simple code we are going to run our main program to see if it's working or not and uh, this looks pretty good so it's bouncing off from the boundaries let's see how it does all right so this is looking good it's bouncing off the boundaries so program is working so but right now there are new parallels on the left hand side and the right hand side so this looks a little bit weird it's not a complete pong game and we'll be creating the paddles in the next video and we'll be working on touch events like how we can control the battles or the paddles by moving them up and down by using our mouse and the touch events on our phone it can be android or ios anything so we'll be covering all of that cool stuff in the future videos but in the next videos we are just going to create our paddles so i'll see you over there